Everybody, it's day three in the Crucible. Day three in the Crucible. I've been having a fun time with this weekly. Um, um, uh, this is guaranteed draw hours. Let me be a frigid fireman. Reminds me of that clip. Well, you see the clip of Rob Lowe from uh, 911 Lone Star, where he does chest compressions on a man whose body is frozen solid and his chest caves in, and then he gives a horrified look to the camera. I... I have not watched network TV in a long time, okay? Not a long time. Give me this. And don't even freeze me. When I still watch network TV, or like, um, you know, when there was a hockey game that I needed to watch, obviously there's nothing uh, in that department happening right now because the playoffs are on. Uh, and my team did finish 21st in the league, regardless. Puppy me? Early puppy? Maybe. Let's give him a chance, man. And let's freeze. You got to save two gold. I just got to remember it's my first time taking a puppy this week. So I got to I gotta be vigilant. Um, always I would see the ads for that Rob Lowe 911 Lone Star show. And it almost made me want to watch it. Just because every episode, it's not like your classic, like, oh, there's a fire. We need someone's help. Every single episode was like... A volcano erupted in downtown Los Angeles. And you're like, that's already pretty It's spectacular in the sense that it's a spectacle. But then, also, it would be like, and the Hollywood sign is going to crash down on us in 15 seconds. And then they would cut right before, like, like the O would be, like, tumbling towards their fire truck. And then it would be like, watch... 911 loans. I don't maybe it's not the Hollywood sign because it takes place in the you get the idea, but anyway Give me this you're gonna buff the puppy. I love that for us freeze a snail. You know what combine me run a um, Run a weasel right here and Then give me some meat on the baboon. It's all about efficiency right now It almost made me I mean, I just didn't have the time but it, it seems like a network show that's like, it's it's almost borderline satirical. Which I can respect. I can certainly respect satire. I've been known to watch a scary movie in my life. Not a horror movie, but a movie that is called Scary Movie. How about you? How about no level? No, I'm gonna take my level, because the math just works out. And honestly, no disrespect to the beetle, but you just... You're just not that relevant right now. And hopefully the baboon... Ooh. I'll just freeze both of you. Hopefully the baboon buffs the puppy. I would love that for me. I'm very happy with my freezes here. Let's go, dude! No sweat. No sweat. I'm not saying we got this sewn up. I'm just saying, you know, so far so freaking good. In fact, we're about to lose right now. But that's only because your team is better than mine. Okay? This is nice. Maybe we'll just keep buffing you. I'm sorry to say, is it time for the moth to go, maybe? You could sell? I, we don't really need to buy a turkey, but I guess, you know what? It's nice to have it on the squad. And then we're stuck at two gold and the puppy continues buffing. And then, you know, there's, there's some value to be gleaned here. We're getting two extra gold per turn just by carrying the weasel. Holy birch, it's a strong looking lad here. Big porcupine, it's a it's a goaded strategy. I gotta put some respect on your name. It's not a spiral yet. It's still we're we're still feeling okay. I would honestly say it's time for it's time for you to go. Give me a dragonfly. Give the weasel some meat. I was about to give the dragonfly some meat as well, but alas. Just take some broccoli for now. They, I, I don't know if it's just that it's like an observer bias. I always feel like we, when we get an early puppy, it's so unlikely that we get more puppies. And obviously, like, the math on that, like, I have to imagine the odds of a puppy showing up is exactly the same as the odds of, like, any other unit showing up. But it definitely, it's, it seems to sting more when you don't get the... Uh, when you don't get that second puppy, that's for or a level two puppy. I think we still draw. That was like a, a whole lot of trumpets just to end up getting a draw here. Seems mission critical to do this. Pteranodon 
could give us more gold. I mean, literally, you're not doing anything right now. A monkey might be like a necessary buff. Maybe it's time baboon goes, turkey goes, monkey buffs puppy, Pteranodon gives us double weasel effect for extra, pardon me, for extra gold temporarily. I didn't save gold for the puppy, but that's okay because the monkey buff is actually pretty good. It might be too late to be going all in on the puppy. We had like a perfect run. It's all, it, it's, it's falling apart. Or is it? Or is it? Maybe it's not falling apart. Maybe it's completely fine. And we still got the double weasel. <laughs> yes. Yes. Roll me. I don't think we need, we don't really have space for a cow if we're continuing to do what we're doing. Donut. Um, we could guarantee that the puppy gets, we want the puppy to get it. So actually, I think this is like a, we, we don't want it. We, and the dog looks so much like a puppy. I even almost got tricked right there. I hate that I'm just, I'm using so many rolls here. But we have the HP that it's like, it's not a deal breaker to be doing it, I think. And I still didn't save two gold. Why was I rolling so many times? Why did, why did I roll so much, man? What was I thinking? And yet we had the audacity to still win and still get four gold. You know what? Maybe if our puppy got two buff, we wouldn't have gotten the extra gold payout from the weasel there. So maybe I'm actually just a genius and it's you who doesn't know what they're talking about. Um, yeah, that's probably it. I definitely feel like PETA destroys garlic. And then stop me right here. 2731 puppy. I still feel like this squad is not that good, but maybe it's scaled faster than I could have expected. Maybe I'm underrating the strength of this run. Oh, you piece. <laughs> We had the win, man! May, at, at some point, we've got to jettison the Pteranodon. Let's do it right now while it's fresh in mind. Start buffing a second unit so it's not all up to the puppy. I mean, Shark is always, it's always pretty good, don't get me wrong. We can spend exactly three gold. We, I was literally about to say, no, there's no reason to put a banana on a monkey because um, we can't pill the monkey. So we should just buy a B instead. Really, what's better? A 1-1 one, one or a 4-4? Four, four? It's a tough question. Okay, we have, we've defeated the skunk allegations. Never mind. This seems... I'm, I'm a little pessimistic just because their, their turkey's doing some great work. I'm more than a little pessimistic. I'm optimistic that we can find a way to squeeze three wins out of this. Did I say squeeze? <laughs> to squeeze three wins out of this. I'm optimistic it could happen. Not guaranteed, but, but could. Puppy doesn't need it. Always going to need some of that. Very nice, very nice, very nice. And then, not lioness. I mean, with two life, two level two monkeys... There's something in there. Put the weasel at the front. Maybe give... I mean, I don't... I don't know, okay? But now I'm actually looking at our run. And maybe it's just because of the team we're going up against. But I'm like... I feel like our stats are, are actually pretty good for the round that we're on. So you should... Back off. Double death touch would go crazy. I think we go like this. Forget the puppy scaling for now. And at some point, I was going to make you level two. I don't know how that was going to come to pass. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Weasel's getting buffed bigly, though. And probably should it make sense to have it at the front, now that I think about it. Are we living for it? Oh, dude, the chili pepper! You just walked right into my pita! That takes us to nine. So you're saying there's a chance. I feel like you're already gonna be so close to max. I 
I, I'm sorry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, no, but Death Touch is so good though. Get rid of like one scaling in order to get a Death Touch that is guaranteed to work on you and we'll, we'll move you later if the price is right. The price is right. Now I'll move you here. Now both of my scalers just became stone cold killers. You need a pita on the on the weasel, and then we're off to the races, man. I th think we got there. I think we owe oh, the scorpion, you piece with your scorpion. And they got another scorpion! How dare you? And yet, we still got there. One, two scorpions, lol. Why don't you just get one level two walrus? <laughs> oh, thanks for the 10 piece, okay. We like it, we love it, we want some more of it. Let me be like a flabbergasted celebrity, like Tom Cruise when that guy had a microphone that shot water in his face and he said like, why would you do that? Tom Cruise has to be the most likable, hateable celebrity, right? I'm not trying to um, make an inherently ridiculous statement. I, I think I'm being sincere. Why is he likable? He just seems like he's always in a good mood. He's affable. Um, his movies tend to be entertaining. He's charismatic, I guess, is the, is the ultimate answer. Why is he hateable? Well, you know, the Scientology stuff. <laughs> I struggle with that sometimes. I struggle because I'm like, in this modern day, you know everything about every celebrity. Used to like Matthew Broderick. You know, enjoyed uh, election, enjoyed Inspector Gadget when I was a kid. I come to find out I'm a bad person because he killed somebody in Ireland with his car in 1989 or something like that. I'm not saying you have to separate the art from the artist at all. All I'm saying is don't hold Matthew Broderick's crimes against Tom Cruise. Ryan, I'm just telling a joke, okay? Listen, we run, we run Weasel as always. I'm, oh, we need meat for the weasel. We know the weasel can last till the end of the game because it just la lasted till the end of the game. I'm not a big fan of, of blowing up a unit on your squad to get one extra gold. I think that the, I understand you think you're a genius for doing it. I've probably done the same. I'm just saying, for me personally, I don't think the juice is worth the squeeze. Why don't you take some of that, roll me? Why don't you take some of this? And honestly, if you're going to be sticking around, why don't you take some of that too? Here go two more for y'all. Next turn, we level up our beetle. I'm feeling okay about this. Huge plays. The plays continue to be extremely large. You've summoned a dog. I missed the part where that's my problem. Toby Maguire, Spider-Man 1. Now you gotta do something with your extra gold. Deer is a great unit, man. I think, so who's a level, you're a level three? Okay, I'm gonna do a double sell on the cockroach. Buy a deer, because it's, it's just very good timing for it. Buy a baboon, because the baboon will buff the weasel, which is gonna stick around. Why don't you give me a salad bowl? Stats are stats. And I don't think we have, we have much else going on really right for us right now, but one deer can do a, can do some serious damage here in the early game. Am I, did I stutter? It'll fall off at some point, but for now it keeps us on curve. Okay. I would definitely, you run the risk of the baboons buffing each other, but it's not like, um, it's not like the beetle has any long-term future for us. So that's a pure stat round and you level up the baboon next time. Ooh, and then it's gonna buff your deer. Are you kidding me, man? You're gonna steal my chili pepper, you piece of junk. Okay, their, their squad is actually just better than mine. Ripped to our chance of a perfect game. But honestly, like you, you played well there. That was a very smart raccoon. Give me my level. Crocodile is on tempo. It must go crazy right now. You're gonna be slightly buffed, but I think a deer at the front is just, well, you know what, maybe, maybe try it like that. I just hope it's not um, too good. <laughs> I hope I don't accidentally, you know what, Never mind. you're gone. I'm running another baboon. This might be like a temporary step backwards, 
but it's it's much better scaling for our deer if our deer gets a chance to level up. It's a strong lad. It would be a very good time to have like a skunk on our team because they're going to summon like a crazy strong dog. Wow. Um... I'm a little embarrassed. Got bodied pretty hard there. But you know what? We, take me back down to the mid-tiers now. Take me back to the people that have three life. Level five. You know what? Rip to the crocodile. Wait, save him? Let's make sure our crocodile gets the... Oh, no, no, no. Get rid of him. You, you can't keep uh, the lion and then use your baboons to buff a tier six, which is a foundational element of your of your strategy if you're intending on running a lion, or, a, or if you're intending on running baboons. I'm saying baboons and lions don't work well together. Just, just that's why they keep them in separate cages at the zoo. One day, this crocodile is gonna work, man. And then you're all gonna be sorry. <laughs> I still feel completely comfortable with my team right now. I, I'm, I don't feel like my team has made major errors. Now, a level 2 crocodile would be nice, but I would also just love to have two level 2 baboons buffing said crocodile. I would certainly love to get a level 2 crocodile as well. It's another baboon. Holy frick. <laughs> For now, I'm going to give you even more stat power. I mean, two level 3 baboons could go absolutely insane on a tier six, but we're hoping that we just have some HP left when we get to that point. It would be nice to level up our deer as well. We got there. Feels good to get back in the win column. Level two crocodile. Big alpaca, I kind of sleep. Holy cow. I don't know why I'm adding it to that baboon instead of the other. Oh, we're gonna have one level three. I'm trying to think of what tier six I want. <laughs> I feel like Walrus is just the, the, the best tier six you could ever ask for. We, we at least killed the shark and the hippo. This squad just got d absolutely destroyed. Some squads win right now, some squads win later. Our squad was built to lose in the early game, but then it came back around. I don't think we want to buff Lioness. I don't think we want to buff Alpaca. We could take a Hammerhead, but again, the buff Hammerhead doesn't mean anything to me. I mean, I'm willing to wait for it. If I got to. I shouldn't be, though, now that I think about it, because these baboons are going to be freaking useless. <laughs> Probably would have been better to get the stats on something, but... Alas. Oh my god, they got so many skunks. And my team only has two strong units. My weasel! That was one of my two strong units! That definitely felt winnable. I think that we squandered the last round a little bit. Okay, Orca's good enough. Honestly, you're kind of not doing it for me anymore. Throw me an Orca up here. Put it in position two. Give it some support. If we could just last a couple rounds, this baboon is going to scale it to the moon, man. To the moon. I'm scared. Okay, we wasted their walrus at least. I don't know if it's enough, though. It's enough! <laughs> we need to put a walrus out there. Which means probably the weasel's got to go, and whatever gets buffed gets buffed, okay? Mm. Like, we obviously we could use a donut, but I don't think we want to get too crazy with it. I think this is, this is our setup right here. Oh, I was going to put that on the, on the orca. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so the pita is probably an extreme waste, and it may make a difference, but... Hit the orca. Hit the oil. Oh, you didn't hit the orca. Hey, rat. My squad, my whole squad is a joke. I got bodied. I got destroyed. I thought we were going to the moon, man. Run me back. It's good enough. It's good enough. I think you can tell, though. 
heaven from hell, blue skies from pain. Uh, rain. So you think you could... I, I haven't listened to a lot of Pink Floyd, but I've heard the song ambiently enough. They call it ambient because you gotta be on ambient to enjoy it. <laughs> Should really like ambient music, and also Pink Floyd is not ambient music, but I. Ambient music enjoyers when the chord change happens at 11 minutes. Okay! You know what? You had to be there, I guess. Anyway. Listen, how we doing here? This seems very winnable to me. Can't really ask for more than this. Hey, the first door head ant of the day. You're good. You're good enough. And meat on the door head ant is like, that's your gimme. Strong door head ant goes crazy. I almost thought about running two of them just to farm some free wins here. It actually might not be a bad idea if we get meat in our next shop. Beautiful. I'm going to say... You have no purpose on the squad. Buy me. We should probably just level you. I'm going to level you early. I, that's, that's how confident I am in your abilities. And you know what? I'm going puppy mode. That's how confident I am in our, in our door head ants. I would happily... We're going to sell the cockroach at some point anyway. Let's sell it now. What are you going to do? Steal my nothing? 12. Oh. Oh. Oh, they do have a weasel, though. You got to put some respect on the weasel, but I appreciate the win. Level two door head ant is crazy mode. I don't like any of these units enough. I don't like you enough. I don't like you enough. I like you enough, but like I'm a little annoyed that I, like this is my choice. But now with the possible level... Oh, I didn't save any money for the puppy! <laughs> What are you doing? Okay, I see a, a team bereft of meat, and that has me feeling a little bit better. I also do see a very strong elephant. That has me feeling a lot worse. So close. If I had the dog spawning at the end, we, we might have gotten there, but... Did you take this? Did you take some stats? Not the units I wanted to hit, that's for sure. Honestly, I, I don't I think we've abandoned the puppy. I don't think we're worried about the puppy as a unit here. I would much rather have the baboon on the squad. Wrong unit to buff, brother. You picked the wrong unit. You will never You will never live that down. In my life, you will never live that down. You will always be dead to me. Son of a How'd you get so strong? All right, I feel like we got problems. Second baboon and a tier four could go crazy. And a tier four. I don't know if you're gonna like this one. Actually, you know what? I know that you are gonna like this one because it's, we're, we're shooting our shot. <laughs> yes, we have like one and a half good units, but mission failed, we'll get them next time. It's more noteworthy than, than slow playing it. It's fun, it's, we're, we're throwing a Hail Mary, okay? You give one two, you only give one one, so I'm not sweating that. I will salad and pray, could be worse. Doorhead ants not going anywhere. I'll salad and pray. Couldn't have been worse than that, really. Skunk, very valuable. Ah, but we need a tier five. Skunk's still good. You're going to have two free spaces. All right, probably some cans would have been nice, too. But 1017 hippo, it's not so bad. Please, please. Oh, baby, I'll take my draw. I'll take my draw. I'm also... You, you need this. I'm going to take my level. Orca. 
I think an orca is fine. Let's get it out there. And we'll probably get a skunk out there. We have a problem, though. You've probably noticed this problem. We don't have a tier five, so our baboon is freaking useless right now. The doorhead ant's gonna get rolled out for a tier five. I think a, a monkey buffing a hippo might be the might be the secret sauce. Oh, good. No, wait. That actually turned out. That actually turned out pretty well for my hippo. I actually got like extremely lucky. Never mind. I'm not mad at the, the bear getting spat out there instead. Fair enough. Definitely take my level. I don't, I know, I understand, but I don't really care about a turkey getting buffed. I'll freeze it just to try to capture some upside. But to, it's, to be straight up with you, to be 100% to be on the level with you. Okay, fine. I'll, get, I'll, I'll let it work for a second here. No, I want, maybe, I, I'm thinking about it. Hippo needs the buffs. I think, I think we got to at least just throw it down here. So at least we capture some upside potentially. And then the orca will get start getting the buffs now. Although the best thing we could get for buffs would still be a walrus, I think. I think. So we're, we're somewhat blessed in that they haven't gotten everything in their run off of the, off of the starting line yet. Which allows us to have a small chance of potent. Never mind. We're going to go down to two life. I, I really thought that because they didn't have a donut out there yet, we would have been okay. But alas. Tier sixes. PETA would go crazy on you. I think it's, that's another important upgrade this week. I'm sorry to do this. Second baboon. Maybe you should have put a cow out there first. I'm not that impressed with anything you got going on here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to feed you a freaking chicken leg. Now, I know it's kind of like we have no cohesive build. Our build is called um, Good Hippo. That's the only thing we got. Is it gonna be enough? I'm starting to think it might be, dude. <laughs> well, well, well. How about... I mean, level two hippo would go crazy, obviously. Walrus also important. I don't think we need the Tyranodon. I'm not anti-Tyranodon. I just don't think we need it. Give me a little chili pepper on you. A pita would be even better, but it, I'll take a chili pepper for now. Second level, a second level two baboon would also be, be interesting. Very strong um, guinea fowl, no doubt about it. But I mean, the hippo's kind of doing his own thing as well. I'm not sure if you've noticed. Wait, it, it, this run has begun to peak. Skunk is so crazy. Very important. Level three skunk or like a tiger. And the level three skunk would go crazy. Maybe I'm, I'm, right now I'm just working on faster buffs. But um, if we could get a level two tiger behind a level two skunk, I would, I would, I'd be very happy. Let's just leave it at that. I'd be, I'd be thrilled. I'd be over the moon. Get inked on. Good. We inked their dragonfly. Now they got no shot. Hippo, still ha I appreciate what you're doing for me, Hippo. Please, my lord, I've seen what you've done for others and I want it for myself. Take a little buff. Chocolate. Um, I'm not even going to freeze you because I don't think we need more faint triggers. I think we're, we're spending all of our money on baboons. <laughs> What a what a roll, dude! That would be like a that's a jackpot at the casino. My baboon. We still clear it easy. What is this? I haven't seen a dove in so long. We still clear it. I'm not bragging. I mean, we, we're rolling hippo. It's not exactly like rocket science, but. Roll me. Sure. Orca's getting there. Could really use more attack. Skunk me. One of these days. One of these days that's gonna work. Oh my god, you're so strong. You're so strong. Oh, you defeated me. <laughs> 
I've immediately lost confidence entirely in my in my run. Walrus mode. Walrus mode. It's like the only thing I got in my in my toolbox right now is walrus, brother. I, can't, I guess I'm. Uh, maybe that one one will make a difference. Probably not. Wasting a lot of the baboon buffs for sure. Well, that's a horrendous start. That's not gonna be. Oh, we're, we're toasted. I can't believe we only got the eight. I was thinking nine, maybe, but ten likely. I mean, it's still not bad, but either way, thanks for watching. I'm having a good time this weekly. I'll see you next time. See ya!